When you get into this bowling on a budget stage of fragrances, these sub $40 scent profiles, it's a whole game. It's a game of guess what fragrance combination is inspiring this scent. I despise guessing game. And with this particular fragrance, I went through a little bit of a gamut, but finally figured out what combos are in this, at least to my nose, and how well this budget cheapy performed. Now, is it gonna match up with its predecessors that have wild TikTok hype? We shall find out. Let's roll my fucking music so I can put you on to Nitro Blue, under 40 bucks, closer to 30, and see what's inspiring this scent. Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 to the today. Shout out to the perfume box for sponsoring today's video and sending me this as requested. Nitro Blue. Another nitro scent along with the white, the black, the red, which is the most popular one and surprising everybody. It's a super F boy scent profile with wild projection and energy. For me, the white one actually spoke a little bit more because it was a sweet concoction with a deep myrrh essence at the base. So it had a little bit of a fuckboy energy. It was still loud, it was still turned up, it was still a party, but then it has some woody depth and a little bit of a smoky incense. Now with this particular fragrance, when I first smelled it as mentioned in the intro, I had little touches of Layton Exclusif, which is not a scent profile that I truly enjoy. I like the original Layton. However, this quickly became a much more obvious interpretation of Pegasus, hybrided with Pegasus Exclusif. You get a strong nuttiness coming off this fragrance seconds after it's sprayed with a beautiful sillage cloud around it, something that a fragrance four times the price point should have. And what's been interesting about these little cheap ass fragrances is that they've been doing very well. Not so much so, and it's not just like longevity wise, it's more sillage. They're very loud and in your face scent profiles that really grab you by the fucking face. And he's like, look at me, stare at me, love me, and fuck me. Damn it, I just really want to be fucked, you know, just really fucked. Now the note breakdown for this particular fragrance is as follows. We're talking about sage, lemon, cinnamon, orange blossom, and basil. Followed by pralines, woods, cardamom, amber, patchouli, rosewood, and some sweet elements. But essentially, you're getting Pegasus meets Pegasus Exclusif with a little bit of an underlying apple lavender sweetness that, again, it reminds me of Leighton Exclusif. So this hybrid slash tribrid situation is definitely more on the nuttier side. It has a nice musky ambergris essence, but it isn't the sharp, musky nuttiness that you get from Pegasus or even Pegasus Exclusif, it's a lot more calmed down and actually a little bit more wearable. So if you've ever encountered Pegasus Exclusif, it is a bombastic scent profile with infinite performance, but it's very sharp and captivating to the nose. Based on that high concentration, it just feels like that muskiness and that ambergris pop from Pegasus Exclusif with the amazing amount of almondness is there to adhere to the skin forever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. This one is more of a moderate type shit. It's kind of low key, you can spray it, you have about six to seven hours of performance and a good sillage arm length bubble around you to garner a ton of attention. Oh no. Someone's gonna get more attention than me. Now I have it dried down on the test strip because I wanted to get past that opening interpretation and really feel out the base of this fragrance. So it's still in that Pegasus slash Pegasus exclusive space, but has a little bit of a Paco Rabanne 1 million essence, which I'm assuming that's where that sweet note comes in. So that's also very interesting. So imagine having the nuttiness of a Pegasus DNA and having a Paco Rabanne 1 million fuckboy energy with that loud bombastic sweet scent to just try to get all the pussy that you can. Booty? Pussy, pussy. It's surprisingly smooth. Kind of almost nutty, buttery. There's a vanillic extract undertone in this fragrance. You still get that lavender. You get that soapiness from the sage. It's a fucking handsome scent for $30. Like that's the shit about these fucking brands. Like you're pulling off a lot of sex appeal and shit and making it affordable for like the average Joe consumer. I love that shit. I love that stuff, you know. I say it time and time again when I get some of these cheapy fragrances. Like that's what started me in this whole game. The whole balling on a budget. Like getting good scent for a cheap price that lets you play the fragrance game and gives you variety without breaking the bank. Fragrances like this you can buy four, five, six, ten and still be under some niche prices. And that's more real world than realistic, let's be honest. It's a fucking fun scent. It's also like giving that PDM type DNA to a younger demographic. With that one million DNA and that little bit of latent exclusive for a young buck to party, it's kind of a no brainer bro. Fun, young, party, turn up, budget friendly and smells fucking awesome. It's a ball spray, dog. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
sage because I'm getting a lot of that soapiness. I'm getting more 1 million in the sillage right now. Like more of that Paco Rabanne sweetness, 1 million. Maybe even a little bit of a Invictus energy. But the praline is just right there. The nuttiness factor of this almond praline kind of combination fucking hits. It's crazy that they're doing this type of shit for like 30 bucks. Stupid. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this joint. A lot of people have been impressed with this nitro lineup but you be the judge. And if you decide to proceed, it's gonna cost you a cup of coffee. I'll see y'all snitches next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I mean, this shit is fucked up. Smooches. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would-